Tonight's Uncertain Board News. Musk 2016 certifications now available. But first, your eye in the sky, Red Scott. Hi, everyone. We're live above the United Nations, where people from all over come to discuss important global issues. And if you want to communicate with everyone here, you can learn hundreds of languages. <laughs> Or you can learn to speak Microsoft Office. Microsoft Office products are universal. It's a common platform no matter where you go. I mean, you'd have to go through a wormhole to Alpha Centauri to find someone who's never heard of Microsoft Office. Never heard of it. Never. I have no idea what you're talking about right now. Right, okay, the point I'm trying to make is the only way to prove you're fluent in Microsoft Office products is to get Microsoft Office Specialist certified. Look, we all know that MOS exams are the gold standard. Nothing validates student skill better than a Microsoft Office Specialist certification, which, of course, is news to no one. But there is new news. That's right, you heard it here first, folks. The newest MOS certification exams have reportedly migrated from single large project exams to multiple smaller project exams, making it enormously powerful for assessing student knowledge and skill. Certiport calls it a performance-based format for improved aptitude testing. Let's go to the Certiport information room and break it down. Let's go to our panel first. Todd. Hey, I tell you, they had me at revising the exam to incorporate more objective domains across the different exam forms. Total game changer. Stacy. Look, y'all. Now students have a deeper understanding of program functionality in order to complete the task. Oh, man. Stacy's actually right for once. The instructions now avoid commanded function names, which sometimes gave hints to the test taker. Jackie. I think you're both missing the point. Microsoft and Certiport are saying to colleges and employers, hey, these students know the products. Hey, Get down. hey. But students now know the reason why the task is being requested in the first place because the certification exam takes place in a real-world context, preparing them for the walk. Hey, 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 let hey, me I'm talk. You, right? I I finished what say. I was saying. All right, Excuse all right, me. all right, all right. What about their learning aids being updated to 2016? Even G-Metrics practice exams from MOS 2016 are now available. That's exactly what I've been saying all Let's along. Let's go to the big board. All right, the 2016 exams are now multi-project. Students move through tasks in one project, then move on to the next project. It's the best of both worlds. Small projects projects feel more real world, and tasks demonstrate particular proficiencies. But how is this playing with the people? Maggie Wong is live in the field. Maggie. Well, it's brutal out here in the real world, which is why digital badging has taken the world by storm. Maggie, there's a tornado behind you. That's right, Fred. Professionally recognized digital badges for MOS certifications not only validate skills, but their convenient credentials for students seeking higher education or jobs. Ma Maggie, I can't Ma hear Maggie, you, there's a Brad. tornado, there's behind, a tornado you. behind you. Maggie. And that about does it for us. We leave you tonight with students who got their MOS certifications and are so happy about it, they're actually looking up from their phones and smiling. Good night, everyone.